My name is Autumn Winterskill from Knitting in the Red, and today we're going to talk about how to crochet a necktie. A crocheted necktie consists of a series of increases to make a triangle, and then decreases to make the length of the necktie. You will need to take your yarn and your hook, corresponding the hook to the size of yarn that you are using, and make a slip knot chain two and make two single crochet stitches into the first chain. Then you will chain one and turn your work. Work one row even by making no increases. Chain one and work one increase row by making two single crochet into each of the end single crochet stitches. We can now see that there is a point and a triangular shape emerging from the increases that we have made. Here I have made increase and even rows to form my base triangle up to this point of the tie until I have reached the width of the tie. Then I began making crochet decreases until I had the desired width of the tie. To make the crochet decrease stitches, you will crochet two single crochet stitches together by making one loop into the first single crochet, one loop into the second single crochet, and then crocheting through all three loops on your hook. So again, one loop through the first stitch, one loop through the second stitch, and crochet through all three loops on the hook. You will do the decreases at each end of the rows that you would like to decrease on, working a row of decreases and a row worked even in between these rows. Once you've reached the number of stitches that you would like to remain with rows worked even, work the rest of the necktie in rows worked back and forth until you have reached the desired length. Then fasten off your work and weave in all of the ends. Again, my name is Autumn Winterskill from Knitting in the Red and you just learned how to crochet a necktie.